Hi, how are you? This is Runa Roy Crafty Hands. Runa Roy Crafty Hands. Well, today um, I'm gonna do, if all goes well, an hourglass made from two plastic bottles. Um, I did, I made part of it, you know, because I didn't want to start from the beginning, you know. I usually like, you know, before I uh, start a project, I like to show you the project itself. In other words, I... First I make the project, right, and then I make a copy of it. And the copy of it, I like to do it together with you, you know. But this time I didn't make um, an original, an original project. So I'm gonna, you know, we're, we're gonna be making the project as we go along, you know, along. So, in other words, you won't, I won't be able to show you the hourglass um, when it's finished. You know, the finished product. I won't be able to show you because I, I didn't make one, you know. So, but anyway, I'll just show you um, how it's coming along because, like I told you, I made part of it, okay. So, like that, I do not waste too much time, you know. And um, and of course, I won't waste my video, you know. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna show you. Okay, this is um, part of the um, project, part of the hourglass. As you could see, um, like I said, it consists of two plastic bottles. Now, it could be a soda, two soda bottles, small ones, or big ones. This one is a, these are not so soda bottles. Um, I don't know if you are um, familiar with um, this floor cleaning liquid called Mistoline. It's a Spanish, the Latin, um, I believe it's Latin, you know, um, floor cleaner. It's called Mistoline, and it comes in different colors and different scents, you know. So these are the bottles from the uh, Mistoline floor cleaner. I you know, I buy a whole lot of them because I like things to smell good. I like my house to smell good, you know, and to be clean and fresh. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yes, you know. But anyway, so this is, you know, these are the bottles, okay? Now, I cut the bottle. The, the bottle was longer, of course, the plastic bottle. But I cut just the top part, you know? I cut it like in the middle part, you know, from the top, right, to the a little less than the middle part, you know, but this is how it is, okay, so what I did anyway, I put um, electrical tape, you know, to hold it together. Okay, because what we're gonna do, see, okay, this is how we're gonna do it. Now, okay, these are the materials you're gonna need, you know. Um, okay, two. Soda bottles or whatever kind of plastic bottles you prefer. Um, 
I don't like working with glass bottles because I'm afraid when I break and I might cut myself, you know. And um, so this is why I like working with mostly with plastic bottles. So anyway, so like I said, you need two plastic bottles, whether they are like I said, soda bottle, um, floor cleaning bottle, whatever. But try to make sure the bottles are nice, you know, they they have a, sh a nicely shaped. So some bottles are like ugh, bland, you know, they're just straight, you know, don't have no kind of shape, you know. But this one, as you can see, it has its own little shape, right, like an, you know, like an hourglass, I guess, you know, shape, you know. And, um, okay. So what we're going to do, the reason why we need two is because we're going to put one on top of the other. That's so, so before we put one, before we glue one on top of the other, right, as I'm going to show you later, we're going to need to cut, um, card, well we're going to need to cut a circle right from the cardboard as I did here you see this is cardboard that I cut it in a circle um, that's the same size as the top of the bottle okay you just put the you know you just put the Taking the, the cardboard, like for example, maybe leave my hand, the palm of my hand is the cardboard you're going to be using to make the circle. And you're going to put the cut plastic bottle, right, upside down like this with the top part on the um, uh, uh, um, cardboard. And then you're going to trace it, right, with a pencil. And trace it, see? Then you're going to cut the, the cardboard, right, in the shape of the circle. And then afterwards, you're going to make a little hole at so. Now, um, we're going to use also not only the, oh, the circle you're going to need because the, you know, we're going to be using salt or sugar, but salt. I prefer salt wine because I believe I'm not sure but I believe that by using the salt you keep away you know the little critters the uh, crawling little critters like ants ants and and whatever you know and I guess um, you know little roaches and any you know anything that has more than two legs you know, creeping all the, you know, you, you don't want them creeping around your um, hourglass, you know, or all over the place. So I don't think those little critters like salt. They love sugar though. So let's use salt. Okay? Or if you prefer, you know, you could use sand. Okay? Because usually our glasses have sand in it right okay but if you don't have sand you just use salt and that's what I'm gonna use okay now also you, you're gonna be using like a box a little box you know to put to hold um, half of the bottle plastic bottle in place as I did here. You see this is this is not a box. It looks like a box. If you have a box that's the size that you want to you can use it. You know? It shouldn't be that big or that small. It should be just the right size to hold the the plastic bottle in place. Okay? Now um also, after you get the box, you know, that you prefer, the size you prefer, 
you know you're gonna have to wrap it with either duct tape or with um contact paper or whatever okay or uh, use it fit okay so this one it's not a box but as you can see I'll, sh I'll show you you know what I use but I want you to see you know how you know you're supposed to um decorate it you know you, after you um wrap the box or whatever you use um with duct tape or contact paper you know if you want to you know you could put you know you could glue little beads like I did here these are little beads you see See? You see? I glued them on all four sides. One side, two sides, three sides, and four sides. I didn't put any on top or at the bottom. Okay? So, maybe I'll put like little feet here. I'll put four little beads to use as, as little feet. For when I turn the hourglass, Right around so that the sand could again um, flow downwards, you know. It'll, it'll look nice, okay. And it won't, you know, on the back won't make contact up with the surface that I have it on. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what I used. This is not a box. It just so happens that I found a, a block of foam. See? This is foam. I found a big block, you know, inside a box. So I said to myself, Self, so I think I'm, this is going to come in handy. So, anyway, so I bring it upstairs to my house and. Um, I decided to use it, well I decided to use part of it for this project. Okay, so what I did was that I cut out, um, I traced each of the sides on the cardboard. So it's like one side, the top, the bottom two sides, and then uh, four sides, so that will make four, five, six sides, okay? I traced each of the sides on top of the cardboard and I cut out the cardboard right in the same shape as the box and this is how it came out. See now this is the cardboard. Now this this one here is for the top. See? This one is for the bottom or the top, whichever. It doesn't make no difference. That bottom is the same. Okay, you see? And these, which I wrapped already with contact paper, are going to be the sides. See? See? Which I'm going to glue uh, afterwards. I didn't um, wrap all of them you know in one shot because I wanted to wrap some of them with you um, you know because um, this is the project we're gonna do together and uh, of course I'm not gonna do everything you know, because then I won't have anything else to do with you right okay so you already got the point so this is this okay the foam um, covered with um, cardboard, cut out cardboard in the shape of the foam, right, in each of the sides, in the shape of each of the sides of the foam, okay, and what I did, okay, and this is it, I think I explained myself, right, so in other words, cut out the, okay, like I said, if you're going to use a box, it's better, you don't have to do it's not that complicated. A, bo a box is better, but since I had this foam, I decided to use it. And like I like I explained to you, you know, I cut out 
uh, cardboard uh, the, uh, the size of each of the signs and I wrapped it in um, contact paper and I glue it on the foam okay and I decorated it with and I decorated the the box you know with um, beads so that's what we're gonna be doing okay now you also gonna need this sticks here you know Chinese sticks I guess uh, I don't know uh, you call them something else but I call them Chinese sticks you know so you're gonna be use, you're gonna need four of these okay because four uh, each of the four are gonna go like this like this like this you know you're gonna make a little hole in the um, not all the way in the corner of the box, okay? Where the bottle is going to go on, okay? Um, not at the bottom, bottom top, where the bottom is going to go on. And then, that's how it's going to go. And you're going to glue it like this. I'm just showing you. It's gonna go like this. So you can just imagine how it's gonna be. Okay? Okay, that's the hourglass. See? Okay, so we're gonna start putting it together, okay? Alrighty. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, what I'm gonna do before anything. Okay, now this is what I did. I had a choice of gluing the bottle, right? The part, the bottom part. I mean, of the bottle, which is this is the bottom part, right? And this is the top part, right? Well, I just. I was going to glue the bottom part on the box, right, the little box, but I decided no because I probably want to melt it, you know, want to melt the plastic bottle with my hot glue gun. So what I did was, what I decided after I um, wrapped uh, each of, after I made the box, let's put it that way. Okay, I made the box, right? I put the, the bottom, plastic bottom, on top of the box, right? I traced it, I held it real, you know, firmly against the box so it won't slide. And I make sure it was, it's in the middle, okay? In the middle. So what I do is I traced it with a pen. Okay, traced it. You know, with a pen and made a circle, the same size as the bottom. Right. Then what I did was with a blade. Right. I cut out the circle. Okay. I cut. And I cut very carefully to not um, mess up the, the contact paper that's already glued on the box. Okay? And I cut and I cut and I cut, right? Okay. I did so because I, I, I wasn't planning on removing anything. I just wanted to make like a... Um, You know, I wanted to make, um, how can I put it, like a little well around, you see, so that I could put the bottom of the um, plastic bottle very carefully in 
to the little well. See? Right? And this way I don't have to glue it. You understand what I'm saying? You see? It stays sturdy. And it's not going to move. Why? Because you made the, you know, you cut out a well around the, the bottom. You see? On the box. So that it could go into the box. You see? Okay, now let's start. I'm talking too much now. I'm going to pause the camera and then I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so I'm going to start um, covering each of the cardboard um, square pieces that I um, um, that I left um, unwrapped. I'm going to cover them now. Okay. Okay. Oh, ah. Shots. This duct tape that I have, that I'm covering the cardboard with, is, bless you, buddy, it's not very um, strong, you know? The strong ones, the ones I like working with, are too expensive. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I think they're very expensive. That's why sometimes I use contact paper. Cheap contact paper from the 99 cent store. Because I can't afford to buy um, how do you call it? can't afford to buy all the time duct tape, mm -hmm. Ridiculous huh? Things are so expensive, you know? I don't know what this world is coming to. Really? Okay, so... Can you see? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go there. Try to hurry up. Okay, that's one. It does not matter how uh, the underneath part comes out. It looks terrible. But that's going to be glue. You know, that's where you're going to put the glue. So that the right side shows. Okay, this is the right side. Don't ever worry about the backing of the, you know, when you're going to glue, you know, what if you're going to glue it. Okay. So this is one. Come on, let me do the other one.
with the four broadcast channels from your favorite networks like ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, and more for free. All you need is a digital antenna from Optima. Plus, get internet at home with the Optima Wi-Fi network, all with no annual contracts and everyday low price of $24.95 a month. Call 866-200-9833 today and we'll install tomorrow. It's easier um, if you could find a little box, you know, or two little boxes, one for the bottom and one for the top, but, you know, sometimes you can find one the size that you want, you know, sometimes it's either too big or too small. You can make your own box yourself, if you know how. Okay. okay. Okay, so now all the um, cardboard pieces are wrapped, um, are individually wrapped with duct tape, okay? So I'll be back and uh, we'll glue them on the foam, on the styrofoam, that's how you call it? Okay, I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, glue the each of the cardboard and the foam to make the box. Okay, so let me get my glue sticks ready. I don't have to waste time looking for them. Okay, let's see. This one goes here, I believe. Like this. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You see me? Perfect. Okay. And so on and so forth. So I'll just <coughs> put this one.
You right? I'm asking my husband if he's okay. He's in the living room. And I'm in the kitchen. Puede pasar si quiere, Paco. Puede pasar. of the cardboard pieces onto the um, foam on, onto the foam let's put it that way um, onto the styrofoam okay and I'm gonna leave a little box but like I said before you know better if you get a little box you know you don't have to go through all this process but anyway now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing with the uh, other bottom, you know, the other half of bottom. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did here. You remember I told you that I had, I'm gonna trace it here at the bottom and then cut it so that I could just um, stick it in onto the box. Or into the box. Now, see, uh, see what I'm doing? I'm making sure that the bottom is going to be in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, to make sure, let's just put both of them together like that. See? How it looks? It doesn't look. Does it look the same? I think it's like that. Yeah. I think it's like pressure on top of the bottom okay, so that it will move and then put the pen slightly okay. don't put pressure because remember the bottom plastic bottle tends to move circle around it. Trace the circle. Mm 
Okay, make sure. It's a nice circle. A visible circle. Not that visible, but... Oh my god. Not that visible. Mm -hmm. I'm to sure. The, you know, the circle shows. Because you have to make sure I show, you know, the pen. The drawing show. The drawing of the circle show. Because you're going to be cutting around. I'm going to show you. Okay, I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough. What? I don't think you know what you're asking. The fever. Even though there is more often than not. I know. Okay. I think that's good enough. Okay, now take the blade. Huh? And cut along the circle that you drew. A very yeah, take your time, don't rush, because it has to be exactly, you know, you have to cut out, or you have to cut along, exactly along the circle. You can't go over the line. So, I'm going to ask, you know, you already got the point. You already got the idea of what I'm doing, see? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to do it, okay? And when it's finished, I'll come back and show you. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so I cut out, well, not actually cut out completely, but I cut a long, you know, a circle on top of the box. Um with the blade, you know, so that I could introduce the the bottle, plastic bottle into the, see? <clears throat> okay, there. Yeah. See? See what I did? Okay. I hope it don't come out. I'm gonna... Okay, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I, I'll just remove this so, so you could see it. Mm -hmm. You see? I'm gonna take a see. see? This little well around. Let me see. Mm -hmm. See? See? Who's your pen? Okay, clear. here. Hmm? Hmm? So that's what you do, okay? You know, cut it out with the blade, okay? Don't remove the, you know, when you cut out. Just make a, you know, a well, and that's it. Hmm? Okay. Then you can stick the bottom, the bottom of the bottom. There. Okay. Okay. Now, nah, we got it. Okay. Now you don't have to glue it. You know? Now what I'm going to do... Okay, like I told you, remember, 
um, you have to cut out a circle the same size as the top part of the bottom and then you glue it right on one of the bottoms on the top of one of the bottom I make a little hole big enough not too big but big enough so that the salt to go through okay now okay now what I'm gonna do also you also like I said you need four um Chinese sticks you know right what you're gonna do with them you're gonna stick them well okay before you do that you could either paint it you know you either paint it you know cut the tip if it has the tip like this one I cut out this tip here okay so cut the tip right the side that it has the tip okay and um, paint it if you're gonna paint it or just put um duct tape or electrical tape I'm gonna put electrical tape okay that's what I'm gonna do and cover it cover each of the tiny sticks um with um duct, you know with electrical tape or duct tape okay I'm just gonna use electrical black electrical tape okay I think it'll look better so what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do that now and then I'll be back and I'll show you hi I'm back well um I've been wrapping or taping the Chinese sticks with um electrical tape being that I didn't want to um paint it you know I didn't want to use paint okay uh, it's too messy you know and well I actually didn't feel like it, you know so what I'm doing is wrapping as you can see wrap 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 okay very tightly very neatly very tedious tiresome this process this is the last stick there were four sticks it's about to give me oh my god uh, uh, um, uh, how do you call it's about to give me muscle spasm on my hand oh my god oh my. Mm. I think it would have been better if I would have just painted the darn stick, you know? I try to take the shortcut and what I sometimes do is make it worse for myself. Okay. And this is the last of it. Put a little bit of clear tape here and just tape in the end. Okay. So you see these are the okay, they're all wrapped it with duct tape. I mean not with duct tape, with electrical tape. See? Okay, now what we're gonna do. Let's see how it comes out. It's coming along. Oh my God. Okay, not bad. Okay. Oh God. Now what I'm gonna do is make the holes, the four holes here. So that I could put the 
on the end of the sticks. Make a hole by puncturing it with whatever you have at hand. Okay. Goodness gracious. Ah, let me see. Put it on each of the holes. The only difference is great deals. We're just going to be a little busier. Sorry. Who's coming along? Easy. I have two. Oops. Okay, we are. Perfect, see? Let me see. Oh, oh, no, no, no. What happened here? Okay, then. Okay. See how it's coming along? Look at that. See that? Oh no, no, no. Okay, now what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to glue this part here. Okay, I'm going to remove this. glue this here, right, both the, the bottles,
spinning the heck out of my finger. Jeez. Fine. tighter and more secure. I have to put electrical tape here. Ya casi estoy terminando, ¿ok? Mm. 
Look at that. There it is. There it is. I have to put um glue. Make the glue. I didn't put too much salt. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god, I hope not. of the little holes. Um, it. Oh my God, it's 10.25 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Well, my husband is here with me. So oh, that's good. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to pause the camera. Hi, I'm back. 